This week, the GW student body will participate in elections to determine the leadership of the Student Association. While almost everyone has heard of the SA, not all students actually understand how it works or what it does. Although not quite as powerful as official administration bodies, the SA has broad discretion over the $1.2 million collected from student association fees and considerable capacity to help set the university's student life agenda. Whether or not students realize it, the SA has a significant influence on daily life at GW. They fund student boards, help guide the administration's outreach, and advocate for academic, medical, social, and fiscal needs for our over 26,000 students. Reed Westcott has more. The GW Student Association is a complex uh, institution with a surprisingly large bureaucracy. Perhaps the best way to think of it is as a miniature version of the United States government, with three distinct branches separating legislative authority, executive responsibility, and judicial review. The SA president, who heads the executive branch, can be thought of as the chief student advocate on campus, whose priorities often translate into administration policy. It is the president's responsibility to bring issues to the attention of university officials and to head up the executive cabinet, a group of students appointed by the president to advise and assist in various areas of student life. The president also has the power to veto SA Senate legislation, issue executive orders, and perhaps most importantly, appoint the student voting representation to the board of trustees. The president is also assisted by the executive vice president of the student association. The EVP acts similarly to the Vice President of the United States, chairing the Senate, assisting with administration priorities, and sitting as first in the line of succession. Now the legislative branch is another beast entirely. The SA Senate is the sole legislative body of the Student Association. It's made up of 38 senators who represent 13 different constituencies within GW. Four are at-large senators, meaning they represent the student body generally. Nine are from Columbian, making them the single largest delegation. Two are from the law school. Three are from the med school. Three are from the School of Engineering and Applied Science. Four are from the Business School. Two are from the Milken School of Public Health. Two are from the Graduate School of Education and Human Development. Two are from the College of Professional Studies. One is from the School of Nursing. Four are from the Elliott School. And at least two are unelected representatives, the first year graduate student senator and the freshman senator. The executive vice president acts as chair of the Senate. Both undergraduate and graduate students are represented equally within the SA, with 19 senators each. Now that you understand the structure of the SA and how it works, be sure to turn out and vote this week.